Hey, everyone, Irix Guy here. I just wanted to do a follow up review of the YouTube One channel layout upgrade. Now, if you're not familiar with YouTube One channel, what YouTube One channel is, it's the new interface that YouTube has rolled out in 2013. Now, just last year, in 2012, YouTube rolled out a very impressive interface and it was a situation where I put a lot of efforts into uh, really making that 2012 interface look great for the IRIC Sky Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash IRIC Sky. But, and I was hesitant to upgrade again because I had perfected that layout. But I decided to take the plunge and upgrade to YouTube One Channel today and I was very happy with the process. And the main reason I went ahead and did it is that I noticed that there is a rollback option. So if I didn't like it, I could click a button and roll back to the, uh, to the previous 2012 interface. But at a high level, I want to talk about the highlights of the upgrade. Number one, it was super simple. All I had to do is go to the website, and I've included the link within this video's description. When I was logged into YouTube in another browser window, I, uh, I clicked that link and it automatically updates it. It steps you through the key things that you want to do. Now, since I already had a fleshed out channel with from my 2012 interface, a lot of that data was automatically migrated to the new uh, YouTube One Channel format. So, what I did have to do, and this is where it's going to get really neat because these are some really cool features, uh, I did have to create a new logo, whereas in my 2012 layout I had a background image and it had some elements that would appear on the side, but in the 2013 YouTube One Channel layout, it's a, it's a graphic at the top. Now what's cool about that, it's very straightforward to upload it, but that image, depending upon device, will appear to be different. So, like on my iPhone, for example, it, it's a smaller section of it than it is on a desktop computer or an iPad or other devices. So that's one of the cool things about, and, and one of the reasons I would strongly consider upgrading to the YouTube One Channel layout is how it seamlessly updates images to look very excellent across a magnitude of devices, tablets, laptops, um, desktop computers, a little thing in a refrigerator, anything, you name it, it should make it look better. So that's one of the big selling points. And the number two selling point, and this is one of the things that sold me, was the ability to have a video that appears only if people have not yet subscribed. So if you go to a YouTube page that's using the new YouTube One Channel layout and you see that video because you're not subscribed, that video is a push to encourage people to subscribe to the channel. Now, if you look at youtube.com forward slash irixguy, if you're not already a subscriber, you'll notice that welcome video. But if you are a subscriber, you'll notice the, uh, a different presentation when you, when, you, uh, when you view that channel. So it's really neat how they've enabled the YouTube channel operator to, uh, to encourage people to subscribe by way of that video, but once they subscribe, they're presented with, presented with a different layout, which I think is really nice. So I, I think so far that the YouTube one channel layout is, is a major upgrade. My only complaint, and, and like I said, I just upgraded today, but my only complaint so far is the inability to make that that video that encourages someone to subscribe if they're not yet a subscriber to make that autoplay because I know in the old YouTube format the 2012 interface there was a way you could uh, trigger the, the the featured video that they called it in 2012 you could trigger the featured video to autoplay and I haven't been able to find an autoplay option for the uh, for the welcome message for people that are not, not yet subscribed to a channel that's using the YouTube One Channel interface. So that's my only complaint so far, uh, but as always, I'll continue to post additional feedback, and I welcome your feedback. What have you found in the YouTube One, in the YouTube One Channel interface that you really like, and what have you found that you don't like? I want to hear, because I really want to uh, flesh out Irix Guy's Adventure Channel for the next level, and the next level, logically, is uh, going with what YouTube has provided us. YouTube is kind enough to provide us some really cool tools to help grow our channels. And I, and I feel obligated as a YouTube partner to embrace those tools and try to make them 
do the best that they can for my channel and the continued growth of it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do so. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash guy. And you're probably noticing that little thing down there too. And that's something I wanted to point out, the little, uh, little avatar. That's something that's in the... Uh, and it's not necessarily just part of the new interface. I think you could do it with the previous. But it's called a... Uh, you go to channel settings and then like in video or something, you'll, you'll find it in there. And it's a, uh, a thing you can add. It's kind of neat. But just wanted to throw that in. Y'all have a good day.